Okay, the, uh, um, I skipped this. Um, if you if you have time to um, indicate this uh, after after I trade it. Um, use cases, um, GTS Go enables you to analyze tr public transportation with other GS data. Um, this figure is outputs of GTS Go and red meshes uh, indicate populations in each area. Then a question, um, visualizing like this, then a question occurs. Uh, is the amount of traffic in this area appropriate? Um, too much or not enough? Um, visualize, make us realize problems and accelerate discussions. I think, I believe this is, um, this is uh, the power of visualizing. And this, case, this is Japanese use cases, and Japanese paper uh, in Japanese local government and uses such an example. Um, next use case, um, this, is uh, this is tweet in Twitter. Um, some people use GTS Go to visualize in GTFS location and frequent, frequency. And these are very, um, the many Twitter user um, reacted these tweets. And then um, GTS Go is published in, uh, uh, on QGIS plugin repository so you can install from it. Um, and star is spiked when Twitter uh, is many people reacted. And GTS Go is uh, published, um, developed under open source software licenses um, in this repository. And GTS Go has two licenses. Core module GTS Parser is under MIT license and other is GPL. Um, welcome every contribution. Um, you can install it from QGIS plugin repository from your QGIS directory. Okay, and uh, let's get into technical talk. And GTS Go use uses pandas, heavily, heavily uses pandas. And GTS Go is consists of um, common separated value text files, so um, it is good to convert them into data frames um, like this and stop, stop time routes, trips, and did each, each text file into data frames. Um, basically, GTS Go um, exports export to data stops and routes. And stops is simple. Um, I can make stops data from two tables, stops and routes. But um, routes is somewhat complicated. Um, I need four tables and joining, 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 and much, much, much. And um, I get um, one table, one big table. I need to do so. Then it was challenging to understand um, roles and relation between tables. Um, I can understand. I, I knew I was able to connect each table by ID, and stop ID was um, root ID and so on. But I didn't know which tables should be connected um, to achieve data I want. For example, um, uh, I want to stop data, but um, which tables are needed, I don't, I don't know. Um, next, GTS has many optional values. And there are many optional columns, um, neural columns, and even optional tables. This is very, makes GTS very complicated. Um, for example, shapes.txt is optional. Um, even this indicates real traffic routes, but this is optional tables. And then, so I had to deal with cases where um, one has optional value and another doesn't. This is complicated. Next, um, this is about aggregating, aggregating feature. Um, in GTFS or in bus stops, um, there are typical case sets. Um, there are many similar stops which could be treated as a group. This um, two figure indicated this pattern. Um, left pattern has a, two. St there are two stops and has the same name. And this is across the road. And in and two. Aggregate traffic frequency, practically, um, 
it is better to group such similar steps into one. Um, right pattern is better to aggregate. Then I define the similar stops as have same parent station. In GTF specification, stops may have parent station as optional value. And in this case, stops are moved to the position of parent station. This is very simple, but not many stops have parent station. And next, have same prefix in stop ID. Uh, among GTF providers, uh, at least in Japan, there seems to be a custom that stop ID is named with the same prefix, such as who underscore one, who underscore two. These could be grouped as a group who, and bar hyphen A, bar hyphen B, these could be uh, group bar. In this case, stops are moved, in, moved to the centroids of such similar, similar stops. And third patterns. This is a um, most complicated pattern. Um, have same stop name and are near to each. You can see many cups of stops that have same stop name in area. Um, this figure, oh, <laughs> behind is me. And across same name stops and across the road, these could be um, treated as a same group. This is complicated. But how is complicated? Um, third pattern. So I detail, I'll detail this pattern. Um, left pattern means uh, there are five stop, five points left figure, and four has four have uh, same prefix PyCon, and one is not. Then I I want to move them into the centroid PyCon stops, but uh, left stop stops is um, distance from other three, then I want to move only three points into one point. Then I have to uh, think about this, how to judge whether the stops are near or not. Um, this step in GTS, I, um, I judged um, this two with these two steps. First, extract extract same name to stop. This is simple. Um, Next, calculate distance from the centroid of them. This, this is a core. Um, using longitude, latitude, Euclidean distance. Then uh, I calculate uh, distance in long rat train. So in GTFS, as is flat. And this is not precise distance calculation, of course, but um, not, not problem in these cases. Um, a precise distance is not needed, only a good threshold is important. And, and next, um, more appendix, more complicated technical um, terms. Uh, aggregate similar steps into a traffic frequency. There are no path table in, path table in GTFS, so we make it. Um, input is a table of stops. Um, left bottom table is a very, very simple example for it. Um, I convert it to right, right figure, right, right figure, um, path into path table. Each row has um, from to geometry. Um, I can um, correct, I can aggregate frequency um, by count distinct the number of paths, right? Such such geometric number number paths. Um, next, um, Python and Pan performance. Um, initially, my implement implement the implementation was not good, and very primitive implementation, and take took long time to calculating. But by tuning to follow the best practice in pandas and Python, the performance was improved. First, anyway, avoid for loops. For loops is very slow, and it is better to use column table oriented methods like map apply provided in pandas and memorization. Uh, next, memorization for methods. And in GTS Go, there are many methods uh, could be thought as a key value. Then, functors error cache is very useful. Okay. Uh, Let's wrap up. Um, GTFS Go is a tool to analyze and visualize GTFS, and Pandas is good for GTFS passing. And it is important to follow good practice. Thank you. That's it.